Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to another song review and welcome to Rocktober. Today, me as Eddie Vedder from Unplugged, <laughs> uh, specifically Oceans with the, with the backwards hat. That was one of my favorites. I'm going to be coming to you with Typo Negative Black Number One. It says Little Miss Scare All in parentheses around it. I did a video of typo negative last year during October for werewolf or no, no wolf moon, wolf moon. I think it was about a werewolf and I haven't listened to them since if I'm being totally honest and we're going to change that today. If you don't know what Rocktober is, I kind of like to explain a little bit at the beginning of every video, just in case somebody stumbles upon this when it's no longer Rocktober to think what the heck is she doing right now? I use the month of October and all its creepiness to check out some songs that you guys suggested that have a Halloween-y, I guess, twist to it, whether that be the song, the band, just the theme of a song. And it was really fun to do it last year, so I wanted to do it again. And I like to dress up in silly costumes, and there's more of that to come in the next few weeks. But this week just happens to be Eddie Vedder week. So let's move it along. Let's listen to this song, Black Number One, Typo Negative. Here we go. Let's pop our headphones on, turn it up, and here we go. She's in love with herself. What does black number one mean? She likes the dark. Ooh. And on her milk white neck. Oh, I don't like how he's saying his K's. The devil's <laughs> mark. So he didn't do it there. Now it's all hollow sea. Moon is full. That background noise, oh my gosh. Or will she trick or treat? I, I don't like will. how he's accentuating any of his words, actually. She's got a daylight speed light with no spot around two. He rolls the tongue like a vampire. now like loving the dead. I feel like this is supposed to be a bit like funny as well. Like the lyrics. Is that the... What is that? 
Is that Adam's family? Is that what I'm thinking? Da -da -da -da. This has to be on the Halloween party playlist. For sure. Wow. Is that a, I didn't see that until just now. Like a big bass, I think. A, um, hmm. It's a huge one. Wait, yeah, yeah, right? First of all, let me go back. That was definitely like the Adams family, right? That da 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 da. Let me bring it up before before I scooch over. I have some things I want to revisit here, like right here. You have those snaps, so it's like almost the opposite. Yeah, because it does two snaps and then da 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 da, where in the actual theme song it does the da 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 and then snap snap. Anybody else catch that? I'm pretty sure. I hate to say things so like confidently like that, but I'm almost certain that that's what they were doing there. But I want to go back really quick before I look into this song a little bit more and just go back to the very beginning with how he accentuated those words specifically the k's like the, the the words that ended with a k but then he did it for other words too and it really creeped me out i'll start it here she's in love with herself she likes the dark the dark and on her milk white neck neck the devil's mark but just how he like choose. Now it's all hollow Eve. The Eve, like the moon is full. Like just the movement of his jaw and his lips, it just it gives me the ick, as people say now. <laughs> gives me the ick. But it was a good song. Like I said, I feel like it's um, it has a creepy vibe to it, but I also feel like it's supposed to be funny in some ways and like throwing in the, the Adams family thing, I think it's maybe like making fun of something just like, I don't know. Loving you is like loving the dead. Maybe just like, I don't know. I don't know. I'll scooch over and I'll look into it a little bit. It says black number one, according to songfacts.com, is somehow both a tribute to and satire of goth girls. Typo negative frontman Peter Steele was really into these girls and often saw them at New York City clubs like the Limelight and the Pyramid Lounge. But there was one girl in particular that inspired the song. He said that she was the ultimate goth girl and I was poking fun at her because she was in love with herself. The song gets a bit campy in an Adam's family way as Peter Steele sings like a mock vampire, think Count Chocula, in places. It's hard to know how seriously to take the song considering it was driven by piercing heartbreak. The type O keyboard player Josh Silver offered his thoughts on the matter. A lot of the fans we picked up from Bloody Kisses just saw the slick side and never got the sarcasm. Like with Black Number One, there's a whole group of people that didn't get it and they still don't. They think type O is a serious rock band. Even some of the band members have become quite serious about themselves. And to me, that is a bigger loss than the fans. When you can't spoof on yourself, you're effed. <laughs> Black Number One is the most popular type O negative song and helped Bloody Kisses go platinum, a rare accomplishment for a goth rock album. Yeah, I never heard of this song before. I know you guys have probably suggested it, especially after doing Wolf Moon last year. But... 
this one was requested a lot when I specifically asked for um, Rocktober song suggestions. A lot of people suggested this one and when it popped up it got a lot of thumbs up so i'm like this one definitely has to be on the list and i thought i would do it early in october too because of that so yeah apparently it's a little bit serious it's a little bit of sarcasm and since they did mention the adams family vibes or whatever they said it can't be in an adams family way i'm pretty sure that was the da 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 but you let me know what you think if you caught that little reference and what else I should check out next by them. What else you want me to check out for October? It's the end of September when I'm recording this. So I'll probably be recording for a little while yet, even into October for this month. And I'm leaving Saturdays open just to kind of do something if I want to, a little extra, take a break if I want to either way. And um, I should have said this in the other video too, but along the way, the poll is always going to be there for the week. I post a poll every Monday and you guys get to vote on what I record on Sunday. So yeah, that remains. You're just going to get me clogging up your feed a little bit more with some silly costumes, <laughs> but I hope you enjoy it as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.